Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Alia Christina Binti Mamasani and my matric number is 2111256. Uh, I am from Kuliah uh, IRKHS and I am taking political science and we are from Group 5. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Alia Jasmi with matric number 2110416. Uh, I'm from Group 5 and I'm from Kuliah IRKHS political science. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Shamil Hamza bin Junaid. I'm from Kuliah of Economics. I'm taking Bachelor of Accounting and I'm from group number 5. My matrix number is 2111443. This is Nurbiatul Asmal binti Ismail. My matrix number is 2118522. I'm from KIRK. I'm taking psychology. To begin the group project is related to the IIU and Muldi River, as well as the problem of garbage in the river. The goal of the tidal solution is to align with the SDG that we have agreed upon. And the chosen SDG was SDG number 6, Clean Water and Sanitation, and SDG number 14, Underwater Life. The tidal solution emphasize life in water and water hygiene which align with the SDG they were proposed. The selection of this project is in line with the selection of SDG number 6 where the emphasis is on water hygiene. In relation to the project, we discussed the IIUM river which is quite murky and how the presence of garbage in the river has caused aquatic life such as fish to be unable to live in a clean ecosystem whereas having clean water and sanitation mean being able to avoid exposure to various diseases this is also equivalent to the importance of these two SDGs more importantly aquatic life must have a safe and clean environment some background about IIUM Gomba River the main campus of IIUM at Gomba has the unique advantage of two rivers flowing through its terrain with seven ponds along the river and known to be the backbone of human civilization and their significance cannot be overstated. The flowing rivers of Sungai Pusu and Batang Sungai Pusu could become a source of learning and inspiration for the IIUM community, particularly the world's future leaders in addition to creating unique scenery on campus with all the aquatic life. However, due to unfortunate circumstances, the Pusu River system at IIUM has taken a different fate. The Pusu River is described as having a murky ap appearance due to high levels of suspended solid siltation disrupts fish habitat and may have an impact on reproduction. The campus is dotted with seven ponds that roll alongside the river and its tributaries. The University Kayaking Club has access to some of these ponds. However, due to ponds siltation, this type of activities are no longer possible. The objective of this project is to raise community understanding of the need to keep the river's quality of freshness. Since the problems of river pollution are rampant nowadays, we want to give community awareness about the current problem of river pollution. Through awareness, we can gain more attention and emphasize its importance. Furthermore, our next objective is to instill in people the importance of always taking care of our environment, particularly our rivers, in order to ensure long-term growth. Long-term growth is important for the sake of our own ecological preservation, especially with the rivers in Malaysia which play a vital part in our country's growth. To put it short, in the project, we wanted to preserve the quality of the IIUM rivers for the future generation of students and to preserve 
one of the natural components of the campus itself. Lastly, this project is to raise awareness about the necessity of preserving and conserving the vulnerable habitats of underwater life. Through a rough observation, we have observed that they were fishing and can be seen swimming underneath it over a month ago. However, as the days go on, the population of the fish disappear one by one and this proves to be one of the objectives which tie in with one of the SDGs we have chosen for our topic which is SDG 14, Life Underwater. And through our observation, it is also important to highlight the habitat and life underwater with our project as we can help to preserve their habitat alongside maintaining their population before they fall into extinction and end up being a fishless river. Um, the next uh, subtopic for this project is, is significance. As we know, significance is known as something that will be highlighted in the project and for our project, which is the lit uh, IIUM River Littering Project, we have gathered a few sign, a few significance that can be found in this project. The first, the first significance of this project is to preserve the river and the quality of the water itself. Through our observation, it can be seen how the quality of the river in IIUM is low and the litter is visible to one's peripheral vision. This project was meant to increase the quality of the water. And I believe in little steps can make a huge difference. Aside from that, it also focuses on the significance of preserving the life in water, which is based on the two SDGs that we pick for our project that are interconnected with each other. The first SDG is this SDG 6, which stands for clean water and sanitation, along with the 14th SDG, which is life on water. The second significance is to preserve the life in water as we can increase the life quality through our project for a better life for the underwater creatures. Besides that, um, the significance of our project is to raise awareness among the people. In my opinion, I believe that our project can bring awareness to this topic since littering is a human behaviour that needs to be fought and we hope to make it as an important point of our project as it becomes a single step in human awareness on the importance of taking care and preserving the river. As we are aware, the IIUM river is one of the eye-catching sites of the campus and if it fills with litter and is not being taken care of, as it shall become a site of sore eyes to the members of the community which is ourselves. Alongside that, the effects of littering are something we emphasize within this project and as we know, littering especially in the rivers can bring its own consequences. It has been proven that the water the waste we litter in the river will be resolved, hence it decreases the oxygen level, making it difficult for the fishes to survive. As an example, when plastic is littered, the process itself will weather wave action by the UV lights of the sun and it will release chemicals from the plastic, hence affecting the river's quality. And to sum it up, the awareness of littering in the river shall be implemented to avoid the extension of the creatures. Finally, our significance is to reach the goals of the SDG that we have chosen for our project. Our group have decided on two different SDGs, which is SDG 6 and SDG 14, which revolves around the theme of our project. Through our lenses, we were hoping to raise a hand into reaching a new step to grow, especially with the sustainable development goals that have been introduced to, into our education as by today. With our project, hopefully we will add more contributions to the goal, which is to preserve clean water and the life in the water itself. The importance of this project is to sustain, maintain and improve the river, even with the small step and raising awareness. And the idea of improving the quality of the river itself with our project shall be the beginning of hopefully something big. And we hope to give our best, even with the small step that we could have take, we could have take through our project. Now we go for the challenges. The first challenge in this program is the low level of awareness in IIUM students regarding the cleanliness of the river in IIUM and not all the students are aware of the river issues in IIUM, especially the students who are still littering near in or inside the river. Sometimes we see that river is not the important factors in our life. 
but it is not true at all. The river is important because it is part of our ecosystem. We highlight this as our first challenge because it is so important that the students first should notice and need to give awareness regarding the cleanliness of the river in IIUM. When everything starts from the root, inshallah, it will spread and benefit and give the benefit to the others. Next. The river in IIUM is big and hard to see in detail in terms of the problem. The size of the IIUM river is not small for us to easily catch up with the condition of the river. When some problem happen in the river, for example littering and pollution, hard to us to find out then detect the area involved. We need to detect where the source of the problem happened because that is the spot where we need to fix or take action early and because of the river is a continuously cycle, it will affect the other area simultaneously. Furthermore, there are external factors that we cannot control in IIUM. For example, deforestation illegally outside the IIUM. Deforestation without any supervision from the authority will affect the soil that attached to the tree and will go down to the surface. The soil will enter the river area and if these things keep happening, the river near the area will bring along the soil from the area to the river. One of the reasons our river is not in a muddy condition is because of the elevated suspended solids level. And lastly for the challenges, the climate changes that are not stable in our area will affect the surrounding of our river, example heavy floods and rainy seasons. There's, these are also the external factors that we in the IIUM can control or run from. Additionally, with the suspended solid level, the rainy season will make it worse and tough to handle the situation in the river. All of these are the challenges to our projects and it needs a lot of manpower and support from the high authorization to make it happen successfully. For the recommendation, the recommendations here are from our ideas and we will put some of our respondents' opinion from our survey to the IIUM students. Firstly, we can organize an awareness campaign for the IIUM students regarding how to take care of our river in IIUM Gombak campus. The awareness campaign is to increase the importance as well as educate the IIUM students about the importance of our rivers in our life. One of the methods is to send the flyers and ask them questions about what they think about our river. By asking the question, automatically the students are aware of the current state of our river. The flyers will be filled with important information about the IUM river. Before we take action, it is important for us to give awareness first to the students so that they know what they are doing and the purpose of doing that. Also, we want to make sure that all the students do the things that come deeply from their heart so that the ideas will be sustained and not just vanish in just a short period of time. Next, do the contouring program with students and staff in IUM. The idea is to add star point for those who contribute in this program. The purpose of star point is to increase the students' motivation towards the program and to initiate the first action by them to go down and clean the river by themselves so that it will be impactful for them. One of the next ideas is to collaborate with every club in the IUM to participate in this contouring program. It's not just can achieve our goal but also can strengthen the teamwork of clubs in IUM and give the benefit to the others. By doing this together, we can see what we do for the environment for a better future and the maslaha of the IUM student. Furthermore, the collaborating with the student union IUM to make our goal happen. We know that collaborating with other organizations will increase the chances and make things easier. With the collaboration with the student union, we can bring this paperwork to the high up management of our IUM and because they are selected to increase the welfare of our students, we think that it's a good idea. Other than collaborating with the student union, we also can give this idea to the Daya Bersaber Heart and make sure that all of the important organizations in the IUM know what the good intention that we bring up and hopefully with the good intention comes with the good output for all the communities in IIUM. The next video is a snippet of an interview that has been done. Assalamualaikum brother. Waalaikumsalam. Can I know your name and your faculty? Uh, Lokman Hassan from the College of Medicine from IIUM Kuantan. Okay brother Lokman, I would like to ask you a question. What do you think about the condition in IIUM River? The condition in the IIUM River, from my perspective, is inhabitable because it's muddy and has a lot of trash in it. If you think like that, what is your suggestion to improve the IIUM River? 
it's probably gonna be Gatoroyong which is the IOM AIOM Gomba resident need to have a better involvement in the Sungai of the IOM Gomba. Thank you. So thank you for your time. We'll see you again. Thank you. Thank you.